My friends, this Shabbat on the eve of Passover is called Shabbat Hagadol, the Great Sabbath. According to Jewish tradition, the 10th of the Hebrew month of Nisan in the year of the Exodus was a Saturday. Indeed, it was a great day as the Israelites sacrificed a lamb without being tormented by the Egyptians who worshipped the lamb as their god. Another reason for the name Shabbat Hagadol is that our Haftorah taken from the prophecy of the book of Malachi speaks of the great day of God when the Messiah will appear. Finally, a third explanation for the name Shabbat Hagadol is that people would return from synagogue later than usual because of the great drasha, the unusually long sermon that was customary for that day. Historically, only two occasions in the year was a rabbi required to preach to his community. Shabbat Hagadol, the Sabbath before Passover, and Shabbat Shuvah, the Sabbath before Yom Kippur. The rabbi instructed the congregation as to the halachic legal regulations of the two upcoming holidays. Outside of these occasions, the rabbi was not expected to deliver public addresses. Shabbat Hagadol, the unusually long sermon. My friends, how long should a sermon be? In a recent Pew Research Center study, the median length of a sermon is 37 minutes. Catholic sermons just 14 minutes, 25 minutes in Protestant congregations, 39 minutes in evangelical congregations, and historically black Protestant churches had by far the longest sermons, an average of 54 minutes. My cardinal rule, that a sermon to be memorable need not be eternal. A sermon is to reiterate the values and teachings of Jewish tradition, reflecting the milestones and crises, tensions and anxieties, hopes and aspirations of the community. Through the sermon, the rabbi is able to relate the relevancy of the weekly Shabbat or festival to Jewish wisdom and tradition, drawing from the Torah and Jewish classical texts. Shabbat Hagadol, the great sermon need not be long, protracted, or drawn out. A great sermon must be interesting, motivating, prepared, clear, and targeted. Truly, the great sermon must elevate the listener to a greater Jewish commitment. Shabbat Shalom.